the year 1962, and construction on a cornerstone of Indianapolis's downtown landscape was just completed, the city-county building. The 28-story tower stood tallest in the entire city at the time, and excitement was also building at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, with history being made during the first day of time trials for the 46th running of the Indianapolis 500. That's when Parnelli Jones, behind the wheel of his trusty three-year-old car, Old Calhoun, became the first driver ever to turn a lap at 150 miles an hour. Gentlemen! Start your engines! Jones's record-breaking qualifying round landed him the pole position. He was on track to raise the Borg Warner Trophy, leading the race for a total of 120 laps when his brakes gave out. But old Calhoun kept going, carrying Parnelli to a seventh-place finish despite the setback. And while crews were hammering away to keep their driver's wheels on tight, everyone thought A.J. Foyt was finished when one of his came off. A wheel came off of the car. And started rolling away on its own. But he was determined to continue, running across the track and back into the pits to sub for Paul Russo. In the end, first place went to Roger Ward, who led for the final 31 laps en route to victory, enjoying the sweet taste of success for a second time after also winning the race in 1959. On the road to 100, Eric Cox. RTV6.